Hi everybody, welcome back to the Spot of Delicious. I'm excited to let you know that we are overwhelmed with the lovely submissions. So many food that slaps stories and recipes. Did you send us your story behind your favorite recipe? Are you eager to know if you won? Let me be honest, we had an extremely tough time trying to choose the winners, but it's all worth it. Ah, the fond memories that we have with our favorite food definitely takes you back in time. Now, for the moment, we have all been waiting for the winners. Are you ready? Let's go! The third place of the food that slaps story and the winner of the LG New Chef Microwave at the Life School restaurant is Pilau by Teddy. Let me read you the story behind it. I am a student who fell in love with the art and concept of food making. I am self-taught and I have learned the most things from the great chefs I look up to, like Chef Ali Madre. <laughs> and also by watching YouTube videos and following cooking channels. I'd love to try out my hand at baking and pastries, but the only thing holding me back is the lack of an oven. I'd be over the moon if I got to win the oven. First time making pilau on camera. I was just experimenting, so I barely talked throughout the video. Good attempt, I'd say. Pilau is a simple meal most East Africans are familiar with and enjoy eating. And below is how I made mine over the weekend. Well, pilau is definitely a lovely dish that we love at the end of the day. I make it every Friday, so this is just a fantastic! All right, Teddy, you and yourself a lovely microwave. You can be able to bake something with it. Let's do this. The reason I chose this story is because we love pilau and pilau is a very simple dish and Teddy here made an awesome pilau that he submitted at the Life School restaurant which is just fantastic. Now Teddy, you get yourself a microwave. It's not just a microwave, this is the LG Neo Chef microwave so you can be able to make something delicious with it. Now it's time for the second food the slabs story. The second food the slaps recipe that will be recreated at the spot of delicious is the Rainbow Charlotte Royal Cake by Zahra. Let's check her story. The first time my son saw a rainbow in the sky, his eyes lit up with an unimaginable joy. He was in a trance of emotional elation that only resulted in a million wows as his tiny fingers kept pointing at some beautiful thing he had ever seen in the sky, yet not too long after the magical rainbow disappeared. He was heartbroken, so I decided I would go to the end of the world and create a rainbow for my son. Well, I didn't really go to the end of the world, I went to the place closest to my heart, and that was my kitchen. I was going to make my son a rainbow, and not just any rainbow, but one that contained his favorite food. Cake. Cake had his favorite fruit, strawberry, and his sweet tooth addiction, chocolate. The Rainbow Charlotte Royal Cake, he is after all royalty. My very own prince. My recipe of the Rainbow Charlotte Royal Cake was not only based on the relishing deliciousness to the taste buds, but it was meant to be infused with the simplicity of life through the eyes of my child. This cake is not only a reflection of a beauty of a mother's kitchen that can create but also a true definition of all that is life goodness. Zahra, you are amazing and why I chose this story is because I personally love cake. So I see myself as the little boy that your son is and I felt connected. You win yourself a solidum oven so that you can make gorgeous cakes for your lovely son. The winning dish at the Life's Good restaurant, our favorite food that slaps the recipe at the spot of delicious is definitely none other but the carrot cake by Sharon. Congratulations are in order Sharon. I love this one. Let me read you guys the story. One of my favorite childhood memories would be Saturday Chai Yasakomi. This means afternoon tea in Swahili. When my mom would be baking a cake on the jiko inside a big sufuria filled with sand, it's the scent of the carrot cake 
that would make the house smell so warm. What I mostly appreciate now, especially being a mom myself, is the conscious effort she would put in to spend time with us after work and even bake the cake for us. See, my mom worked from Monday to Saturday and she would still make time in the afternoon when she got home on Saturday to bake us a cake on the Jiko. It's just fantastic. It was the love she put into making her incredible recipe that made her carrot cake simply slap. Hashtag food that slaps. Fast forward to today. I still bake my mom's carrot cake recipe with little additions here and there. I add raisins, orange rind, coconut shavings, and pineapple to my own. And now I can pass it down as well. Trust me, when I say the cake is super moist and it tastes and smells amazing, and the best part is that you don't need a mixer to make it. All you need is a good old muiko, which is basically a spatula, and a ball. I top mine with cream cheese frosting, but honestly, this cake doesn't need frosting. It's just amazing as it is. Well, Sharon, you know, I love, I love cake and I love carrot cake. You're awesome. The story just took me back to my own story. Well, Sharon, you win yourself a lovely LG side-by-side -side fridge. Congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. A huge congratulations to the winners and a huge shout out to the LG for these amazing prizes. I can't wait to recreate these amazing recipes on the next video. Life is good when food is good and it gets even better when there's a fascinating food this lab story attached to it. I will be recreating these amazing winning recipes using the LG Solidome and the recipes will be named after the winners. There is a lot of work to do and so little time. Your food this love story might not have been selected this time, but guess what? LG Life's Good Restaurant is still open for you. So log on now to LG.com and keep sharing your food this love stories. See you next week at the spot of delicious.